So why would you spend a fortune on a bag and then want to change something about it? Welcome to another tag! <laughs> Today's video is a tag video. I was tagged by a Jo Mara a long, long, long time ago, but I do take my time doing the tags, but I eventually get round to them. So, shall we get started? Before we get started. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to subscribe and watch should then press the bell, which will notify you every time I upload a video. It costs you absolutely nothing but it's all good for my channel all that aside make sure you've got something nice to sit back and relax i have a nice white wine just here so cheers the tag is if i could only change one thing handbag tag so this refers to handbags so if i could change one thing about one of my handbags and I'm assuming they are bags in my collection. So let's get started with the one and only the wallet on the chain otherwise known as the uh, walk. So this is a from Chanel just in case you don't know but I'm sure if you're watching a handbag video you know exactly what this is. So this was a special edition, a limited edition, my wallet on a chain. Now, if I could change one thing on the wallet on the chain, it would be simple. I would make it a detachable strap because even though the way it's designed, you can fit the strap inside the wallet so it doesn't look as if there is a strap on it because the fitting is all inside it's all inside this leather strap here so you close it and it works perfectly as a clutch i love to use this as a crossbody but when you put the chain inside it tends to take up space that you need because this is not very big i did say when i reviewed this people that expect to fit their kitchen sink in a wok it's not going to happen, obviously. So it is designed so you don't have to, you know, add extra SLGs in here because you have the card slots. So you don't need a wallet. You've got a zip closure. So yeah, it fits my iPhone 10X or whatever it is. No, 10 is X. My iPhone X R X A. I don't know that phone. Anyway, it fits that in there, no problem. But what I find is. If I put my Canon G7X in here, I can't fit my phone. So it's one or the other. But anyway, if I could change one thing, the only thing, because, you know, you know, we buy the bags because we love the look of them and we love what they are. But I think it would work much better if the chain came out. But because the chain doesn't come out, it's always there if you need it so if you're going to use it as a clutch and then you kind of want to be hands free and you think you know I haven't got enough hands to hold my wine and my bag and my nibbles although I've kind of got it worked out really well you know to nibble it you know your whatever your volley so whatever you're gonna nibble on <coughs> you take, what I was getting at was you can take the strap out put it as a crossbody and then you're kind of hands free for your glass of champagne or whatever your chosen beverage is. So, enough said about the walk. That is, I think, would make life a little better. And, you know, it gives you an extra option. But, as yet, Chanel have decided they are keeping their chain attached to the wallet on chain. And, um, yes, yeah, so we'll put that back. That was item number one. Item number two is the Palm Springs Mini. I absolutely love this bag and I have got so much use of this bag. And this is the old style. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. And it zips and unzips quite happily. I do like the look. This is the old one. 
and the stitching of mine I've posted just recently on my Instagram that some of them are stitched in and some of them are stitched out this is the old version of how the side is stitched but anyway what would I change about this little beauty a lot of people would say the pocket is pretty much useless I do use my pocket I use it for the batteries for my camera I use it can even put your uh, car fob in here so, you know it also has I think it has a pocket in at the back is in here as well which is quite hard to get at so you would store in there something that you didn't really need because you really have to pull everything out but I wouldn't even change that because that's I, I just tend to store things that I don't need but I'm keeping safe in there so I wouldn't even change that what I would change on the Palm Springs Mini if I were given that choice I would make these straps shorter because they are adjustable but even at their shortest length the bag sits kind of on your kind of waist length when it hangs at the back and it looks lovely but it kind of tends to swing when you're walking about so I, I would I would give myself just a few extra adjustments to be able to shorten the bag there is various ways of shortening the bag I don't tend to use this as a crossbody if I were to use it as a crossbody I would just I would just attach the strap from my pochette metis just there is what I would do but that would be what I would that would be the only thing you know when I buy a bag I love it for the way it's designed and that's why I buy it but I would like the straps a little shorter Louis Vuitton if you're looking could you please replace my straps free of charge <laughs> my next item is one of the classics now when you hear people talking about the classics they always talk about the length of the chains so this one kind of works quite short as a crossbody and the jumbo just there tends to be quite long as a crossbody but I honestly think these bags are designed to use them as a double strap so I just think they look nicer when they're worn doubled up so when this one is worn it's quite high up here and it's quite easy to use as a clutch and the strap isn't hanging all the way down because of the size of it so I kind of think the straps work well with both of them because I always like to use my jumbo with the double strap and I also like to use this one with the double strap although I have used this one with a longer strap sometimes but I do tend to use the straps doubled up that's not what I would change what I would change is this zipper here because it does absolutely nothing it really does nothing it do, you really can't fit very much in it that's as far up as it goes and there's you know you can't put anything down in that so it's pretty useless and you really even if it was much bigger it went all the way down like the walk the walk has the zipper inside as well and it goes all the way down and that's how it is on all the wallets on chain except for the trendy one but I still I really don't use that I, I don't like to fit anything down at the back of it there I think they should just take these zippers away because we always have to be careful of this zipper here marking the flat just here and as much as you're careful it will mark it I was when I store my walk I always store the wok inside its pouch that's how the wok comes in a pouch like that and then I open up the flap like so and I always keep the flap over the felt here so the zip here doesn't mark the front of my bag here and when I store my classics as well they're always stored with a flap protecting them so the only time this leather is exposed to the zip here is when I'm using the bag basically but yeah one thing I would change about these beautiful classics is the zipper right here because it marks my bag the next bag 
is my boy. This is my boy. What would I change about you? Well, some would say add a pocket at the back. But this one wasn't designed to have a pocket at the back. And really and honestly, we don't use the pocket on the back. Some don't like the strap on the boy because it tends to kind of do this and this and all of that. I don't mind it at all. I wouldn't change that about it. What I would like to see changed on the boy is if I were designing this beauty, I would add some plates at the edges here because on the flaps, like, as you can see, they are longer than the actual bag. So they're the ones that get any wear and tear. That's where you're going to find the wear and tear on a bag. Although these bags are not made to be placed just anywhere, let me tell you. You should be offered a stool for your bag. So just for protection and because these, the flap is so much longer than the rest of the bag, I think it would be nice to add just a little corner plates so if the hardware was ruthenium ruthenium plates as mine is the antique hardware the antique gold hardware add that to the corners it would be its own little feet i think that's that's the only thing i would change about my boy so in all my collection they're the only things i would change and I wouldn't really because that's just what gives them their style, their uniqueness. That's what makes the bags. You know, a lot of people say about the Neverfull, they would add a zip to it, but it would change the look of it. It wouldn't be the Neverfull one. And even when I talk about the zip, it's part of the design of the bag. I wouldn't really want to change it, even though it is quite annoying because that's the design. I love I love the story behind that zip. Some say that's where Coco Chanel kept her secret love letters. Some say it was um, in this section of the bag here because there's another kind of secret compartment there. You know, everybody kind of gives you a different version of it. Anyway, thank you very much, Jo Mara, for tagging me. I haven't seen you on YouTube for a while. I hope you're still watching my videos. If not, oh well done the tag anyway cheers i will also tag some of my friends down in my description box so i would like to say thank you very much for watching if you would like to see more videos from me i will link one here here and if you're not already subscribed press the a right here and i'll catch you next time bye